Give me that boy to a flip. Huh. All right, y'all cool? What's this thing? That's my mom. I have, I'm a blogger. Glock in this fit, man, that boy to a flip. 44 hot, been a fried bitch. Not from the play when I'm sliding this shit. I'm sliding the whip and test driving the bitch. Okay. I'm gonna wanna see. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your good Judy and welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for everyone that came over to subscribe to my channel this week. Thank you again, Shannon, for all the referrals. I really hope that you guys enjoy this weight loss journey that Shannon and I have uh, taken. And it started last week. This was my first week. I am dressed. I just have a dress on that. I don't, it's a little big, but anyway, I do have clothes on. This is where the boob part is supposed to be. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is our first week, our, yeah, our first week on our modified eating. Um, eventually we're going to get to our strict go hard balls to the wall diet. For me, that will be keto, and I think Shannon's either going to do keto with me or she'll do the five-bite diet. Either way, we're going to do a really strict regimen starting August the 1st, but um, until that time, I did want to call, call, um, scale back in order to prepare myself for keto so that I can go hard for September, I mean August, September, August, September. October, November, December, so five months until the end of the year. I started uh, last week at 274.8. That was quite a bit of weight loss. If you guys watched some of my videos before when I was on keto, you know that my lowest weight on keto was about 217 pounds, so I had gained quite a bit. Um, so I already gave all the excuses last week as to why that happened. So this week we're just going to focus on what I did this week. So the starting weight was 274.8 and I had three goals for myself. I am missing a fingernail. That wasn't one of the goals. Um, see how long they are now? It is, oh, let me focus. It is because it's very COVID-y outside. So I um, have not been to get my nails done. I will either soak these off this week or wear a plastic face mask and a regular mask and go get them done. We'll see. Um, at this point, I'm in Arizona and we are still open to do things like that. So I'll see how I feel this week. But my goals last week were three. I had one goal to stay under 2000 calories and that might sound like, hey, that doesn't sound a lot like a diet. But um, from where I was before, I, it's quite a bit of a decrease. So um, as I headed into headed as I headed into my diet for the week, I um, had my very last off the chain day of eating. And here's what I had that day. Um, so yeah, so you can see that that was very bad eating. I hope that wasn't triggering for anybody that um, overeats, but that was the past. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys how I arrived at 2000 calories a day, which is the normal American U.S. recommended diet. So started off at 2000 for this week. That was one of the goals. The other goal was to cut out sugar completely. Um, I was intermittent fasting, eating between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. with an eight-hour feeding window. And the last one was I had to walk three times a day. Uh, no, three. I had to exercise some way three three days out of the seven days last week. So let's talk about how I did, and we'll start with the foods that I ate through the various days. I logged them through my Fitness Pal, and um, let's go through those. So on Thursday, my first day, I had um, not prepared, so I ended up having a bacon sandwich with American cheese and a Lacroix and some Pringles and here's, oh, I don't have a picture. And then for dinner I had spaghetti cause I never throw food away. So we had it earlier and I had grapes and a tangerine. So this is the spaghetti, doesn't it look yummy? And I had a cup of grapes. On Friday, I had a ham and cheese sandwich with Pringles on wheat bread with a little tablespoon of Miracle Whip. And that's what that looked like. Later that evening, I had a ribeye steak, yes, and um, vegetables and mashed potatoes. 
on Saturday. Hey guys, it's Saturday, day three, and this is first meal of the day. It's 1.14 p.m., and this looks like a lot, but that's 15. I have Pringles, Hillshire Farm smoked sausage with a little shredded cheese, watermelon, three little watermelon slices, and this is a cup, but it's half, so a half a cup of grapes. I will put down what it all amounts to, and um, I'll see you at my next meal. That's one wheat bread. Looks kind of gross. Anyway, that's it. I had uh, just a sausage sandwich from the grill, and then for dinner I had a Chinese chicken salad. It was all fresh, fresh vegetables. It was really good. And then I had another sausage sandwich on Sunday uh, with uh, some graham crackers for dessert and another Chinese chicken salad. And uh, yeah, just a couple of pictures of the salad there. Then Sunday, I had another sandwich, a ham and cheese sandwich with chips and a lot of grapes. I like to have a lot of grapes to fill me up. Oh, this was Monday. And then for dinner, I had salmon croquettes. That's sour cream on it. I know it's super fattening, but yeah, that was the week. So let me go over again what the actual calories were each day. So on Wednesday, when I wasn't dieting, that day I had uh, 4,652 calories. And then when I really got serious on um, Thursday, I had a total of 1,245 calories for the day. Friday, I had a total of just over just under 1400 calories for the day saturday i had 1400 calories for the day sunday i had 1500 calories for the day and yesterday or monday i had 1200 calories for the day so as you can see, um, not necessarily what you would call a diet menu for those days, but I did um, eat less than I normally d did, a lot less than I normally did. And I did intermittent fast. Some days I didn't eat until one, most days I didn't eat until one o'clock and I st finished at nine. Um, and so that was my food for the week and um, then with regard to the intermittent fasting like I said I did a good job with that eating between either 12 and 8 or 1 and 9 um, I tried not to eat after 9 o'clock last night I was feeling very snacky so I did eat up until I think it might have been 11 I had two popsicles before I went to bed and they're 30 calories each so um, and but they do have sugar in them so that was bad um, the two things that I ate with sugar this week were either graham with uh, refined sugar or yeah processed sugar uh, was um, was um what was it oh graham crackers and popsicles so um but uh so anyway i again that was one of the goals i didn't get any walking done this week i have a million excuses but basically it's arizona it's hot i just didn't get out to do it so since i missed that goal i have to do better this week and hold myself accountable in a different way um, and or just add to it and then um, the last thing was to stay under 2,000 calories and you guys saw that every day I was way under that I was most I think was 1600 calories so um, what was the result I ate a lot of food but I ate a little bit better you know bread and stuff spaghetti is not necessarily diet food well it's not diet food but how did I do so I started at 274.8 on Wednesday last week and as of this morning which this is actually Tuesday morning so this is six days modified it is 262.4 so I would say I did very well this week I do know a lot of it is water weight um, but I love water weight because that starts you off on a great trajectory. It makes you feel good, accomplished, and it sets you up to do well throughout the diet. 
And so, um, yeah, so that was it. Um, what were the changes I noticed? I posted pictures of my bod last week and I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm only gonna show those like once a month because otherwise you won't really see um, a big difference. But I did notice just a slight bit of um, loosening of the pants like in the waist area. So that's great. Uh, let's see how my neck looks. That's why I wore this. So the last week it was it's very ring. I have the rings of Jupiter or Pluto or whoever. But yeah, it's still very, uh, it's, it's slumped down a little bit from last week. But, and we can see these coming back a little bit when I lose weight a lot, then they look like that naturally. So we see that and um, arms still flabby as heck. But yeah, so just a couple of physical changes this week. Uh, so let's get to my goals for next week. For the coming week, uh, because I didn't make my fitness goal last week, I'm going to add a day to it. So four days next week, I have to do some sort of movement for at least 20 minutes. Usually it's just a walk somewhere around my neighborhood for that time, but I have to do something. Um, and then I'm going to reduce my daily caloric intake from 2000 to 1800. And lastly, I'm going to take one hour off of my intermittent feeding window. So where I had eight hours last week, I'll have seven hours this week. Probably move that first meal of the day up to one o'clock and then still cut it off by eight. Okay, so that's it. How did you guys do this week? Leave me a uh, message down in the comments and let me know what you're working on, how you did. Um, I did talk to Shannon and she provided you guys an update on her channel. But um, yeah, she got started last week as well. She had a birthday celebration, which I totally understand. I let her know that I have my birthday coming up on September 3rd. So um, I probably will, I don't know, we'll see closer to that day because by that time I'll be a month into keto so I should be in ketosis and it would be really really dumb to backtrack but we'll see. Um, closer to that date, August 15th is my son's baby shower and I I just have to get myself ready because I'll be in keto then and I'll probably just be getting into ketosis on that day. So probably again, not a good idea to cheat, but there's plenty of delicious things you can eat on keto that taste great and we'll have keto recipes coming up. So if you've ever thought about going keto, I will definitely uh, show you guys what I eat. Um, that's what I usually do. The way my weight loss Wednesday videos go is I talk about what I ate, what I exercise, and I tell you guys where I started and where I ended and then what my goals are for the next week. So you can expect that on keto as well. Um, I do um, hauls like grocery hauls and I also do um, meal prep and different things like that. So you have all of that to look forward to. But um, a lot of you guys just said in the comments that you were coming off of bad eating from being um, sheltered in place. And so if that's where you are, I would strongly suggest, and I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that, I'm just a girl who's been fat and small, fat and small, I would really suggest that you, in order to get in it for the long haul, don't go cold turkey because you still, you might have, I might have lost like maybe three more pounds had I done that, but it makes it harder to um, stay on track. And I never, ever, ever say, I, I, I really like to discourage cheat days because you just wanna gain momentum and move forward. Um, you know, if you do have a meal that's a little higher in fat or calories, if that's what you're counting, then I would strongly suggest that you incorporate some sort of workout so that you can work those calories off. Um, but anyway, so those are just a couple tips that I wanted to give you guys. I'm going to end this video and uh, get started my, with my work day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great week and I'll see you next week to uh, tell you how I did. Hopefully it'll be another weight loss Wednesday and not just a weigh in Wednesday. Either way, I'll be here. I'm committed to do this with you guys and I'm committed all the way till December 31st. I didn't talk about that in this video. My goal is to get back to 220 by December 31st. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. You made it to the end. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.